This is Tuckerman. We're here to quickly show you what a proper fit of your rec specs looks like and how to get that fit. First of all, adjusting the tri-glide under your dog's chin is really important. We don't want the elastic too loose or too stretched when your dog is at rest. It should be stretched just a little bit when their mouth is closed. This is too loose. And this is too tight. The elastic shouldn't be stretched this much when the dog's in a resting position. Making this adjustment so you get the proper size where your dog's muzzle will fit through is pretty easy. You can just go ahead and slide the nylon webbing through the tri-glide that rests under your dog's chin one way or another. For example, this will fit a smaller dog and sliding the webbing through that tri-glide in the opposite direction will make the area a little bigger for larger dog. Next adjustment is the side strap. You want to have this adjusted so it creates a slight obtuse angle in the main strap. If the side strap is too tight, it'll pull the main strap up on the back of your dog's ears, and if it's too loose, it won't hold the goggle tight to your dog's forehead. So here's a close-up of the side strap. Right out of the box, it should be adjusted to a medium length. Um, if you have smaller dogs, you're going to need to shorten the side strap. For larger dogs, we need to lengthen the side strap. To do that, Go ahead and slide the nylon through the side strap tri-glide. This is about as short as our side strap will get. And for larger dogs, go ahead and slide the nylon through that tri-glide the opposite direction to create a longer side strap. So the final strap to adjust is the main strap that clips behind your dog's ears. We find it important to have this tight enough so it can't slide up over the dog's ears, but you can still fit three to four fingers under the strap. Uh, again, having it too loose will enable the dog to paw at the goggles or get them off over the ears, and if it's too tight, it'll be uncomfortable. So finding the middle ground where you can get three or four fingers under there is perfect. So this is exactly what a perfect fit looks like. The elastic portion of the strap around your dog's muzzle should be slightly stretched when the dog's mouth is closed. The side strap should be tight enough to put a slight angle in the main strap. And the main strap should be tight enough not to slip over the dog's ears. And you should still be able to get three or four fingers under there so it's comfortable for the dog and stays in place.